Hello everyone. Today's topic is electron transport chain, a part of cellular respiration. Electron transport chain is also known as oxidative phosphorylation. It occurs in the inner membrane of mitochondria and during this process NADH2 and FADH2 produced during glycolysis, pyruvic acid oxidation and Krebs cycle are passed through a series of electron acceptors arranged downhill means in decreasing energy concentration. During glycolysis, two NADH are produced during pyruvic acid oxidation, again 2 NADH are produced while during Krebs cycle 6 NADH and 2 FADH are produced. To understand better, let us go through the structure of the mitochondria. Mitochondria is a double membrane structure having an outer membrane and an inner membrane. This is the inner membrane and this is the outer membrane that encloses within an intermembrane space. Now the inner membrane shows infoldings, infoldings that are referred as cristae. They increase the surface area of the inner membrane where the electron transport chain occurs and present in the inner membrane are the F0, F1 particles also known as the ATPase complexes where ATP is formed. When NADH is passed through the electron transport chain, three enzyme complex take part in it. They are complex 1, complex 3 and complex 4. Complex 1 is NADH dehydrogenase complex which catalyzes the transfer of electrons from NADH to ubiquinone. In the process passing two protons into the intermembrane space. Let's see that here. Complex 1, the NADH produced during the various reactions are passed through complex 1 that is through FMN to FVS and then to ubiquinone in the process pushing two protons into the intermembrane space. Next is complex 3 that is ubiquinol cytochrome reductase complex which catalyzes the transfer of electrons from ubiquinol to cytochrome C through cytochrome B and C1. In this two, two protons are pushed into the intermembrane space. Now in the diagram, we can see it here. Complex 3 catalyzes the transfer of electrons from ubiquinone to cytochrome C1 to cytochrome C in the process releasing two protons into the intermembrane space. Complex 4, which is also referred as cytochrome C oxidase complex, catalyzes the transfer of electrons from cytochrome C to A, A3, finally to oxygen to form water in the process pushing two protons into the intermembrane space. In the diagram, this is complex 4. It catalyzes the transfer of electrons from cytochrome C to A, A3, finally to oxygen to form water. Here too, two protons are pushed into the intermembrane space. So when NADH is passed through the electron transport chain, three pa pairs of protons are pushed into the intermembrane space. When FADH is passed through the electron transport chain, here two, three enzyme complexes are involved, but they are complex 2, complex 3 and complex 4. Complex 2 is succinate ubiquinol reductase complex that catalyzes the transfer of electrons from succinate to ubiquinone. 
succinic dehydrogenase enzyme is present in the inner membrane of mitochondria. This is the only enzyme of Krebs cycle that is present in the inner membrane. It catalyzes the reduction of succinic acid to fumaric acid in the process producing FADH. Complex 2 catalyzes the transfer of electrons from FADH to ubiquinone. Complex 3, same as in case of NADH, catalyzes the transfer of electrons from ubiquinol to cytochrome C in the process passing two protons into the intermembrane space. The complex 3, it catalyzes the transfer of electrons from ubiquinone to cytochrome C1 to cytochrome C in the process passing two electron protons into the intermembrane space. Complex 4, Catalyzes the transfer of electrons from cytochrome C to A, A3, finally to oxygen to form water. Complex 4 catalyzes the transfer of electrons from cytochrome C to A, A3, finally to oxygen to form water in the process pushing two protons into the intermembrane space. So when FADH is passed through the electron transport chain, two pairs of protons enter into the intermembrane space. Now since these electrons acceptors are arranged in decreasing energy concentration, there is a large drop of free energy when the electrons are passed from one acceptor to the other that is responsible for pumping protons into the intermembrane space. So, at three regions, the protons are pumped into the intermembrane space in case of NADH that is passed through the electron transport chain. One is at complex 1, other one is at complex 3 and the third one is at complex 4. Now due to ETC, a proton gradient is created between the matrix and the inner membrane, intermembrane space. Now the inner membrane is impermeable to proton, so they cannot move back. Present in the inner membrane are F0, F1 particles, where F0 is the proton tunnel and F1 shows ATPase activity. For every two protons passing through the proton tunnel results in the formation of ATP. This is Michel's chemiosmotic hypothesis for the formation of ATP. Now when NADH is passed through ATC Three pairs of protons enter the intermembrane space which will result into three ATP while when FADH is passed through the electron transport chain, two pairs of protons enter the intermembrane space that will result the formation of two ATP. Now since an oxidation reduction process is responsible for the formation of ATP, this electron transport chain is also referred as oxidative phosphorylation. Thank you.